Tech Town Detroit has now been designated as a Michigan Small Business Support Hub. It's been awarded millions of dollars in funding over the next three years. Now small business impacted by COVID-19 can participate in the program. And for more on that insight, we're joined by Tech Town's president and CEO, Ned Stabler. Thanks a lot for coming in this morning. Hey, thanks for having me. So, Ned, give us an overview of this program. What's this really mean? What this really means in a nutshell is every business in Detroit and Metro Detroit regardless of whether you're just starting up or you've been in existence for 20 years, can get support they need to help out. Okay, now when you say support, how is this really going to help small businesses? I mean, is this tech support? You are tech town, so I'm thinking it's <laughs> tech support, or give us an idea on that. So yes and no. I mean, we certainly help tech businesses, and we have a whole suite of accelerator and incubation services to help them out. But we also help restaurants and coffee shops and barber shops, you name it, any kind of business. We can help you get the support you need. Now, that might be money. Uh, or it might be other technical assistance. We can help with your marketing plan and your inventory, your point of sale machine, get you set up on e-commerce, any, anything you need to really grow and scale your business. So more business solutions, is that what Tech Town kind of is? I mean, think of it as like a, a consultant. You know, there are a lot of places where you can go take a class, and absolutely, you can come to do one of our accelerators and take 12 weeks and learn the, the drill, um, but we don't just, you know, take you to the class and then pat you on the, on the, on the rear and say, good luck. Uh, we give you a consultant for the next six months uh, who's going to make you a plan with you and say this is, this is what you're going to accomplish. And then they're going to check in with you every week to say, did you do that thing we talked about? Mm -hmm. And we have a ex uh, set of experts that we call a professional services network that's going to help you to accomplish whatever is in that plan. Now, you talked about the program you have. I think you said it was 12 weeks or so, and maybe you have different ones. How do people get involved in that if they want to, and what exactly will you be showing them? Kind of expand on that a little bit as well. Yeah, so the, the, the first way, the easiest way to get involved is go to our website, techdowndetroit.org, and start with what we call a strategy session. So that's sort of the intake, where we're going to sit down and say, all right, Chris, tell me about your business. Now, where, where are you in that? Oh, it's still an idea stage? Okay. Or, yeah, you've been up and going for five years and you're struggling with your cash flow or whatever. But in that session, we're going to sort of triage you and then uh, put you into the right program either with us or one of our partners in the region. So I want to get specifically back to this program that we're talking about today where you've been given some money to help businesses. How important is this for businesses? I mean, COVID has relatively been over for a couple of years. I mean, we know there's still COVID out there, but businesses yeah. have been recovering. How important is it for a number of businesses to get access to this information and funds? Well, we were really happy that the MEDC decided to support small businesses like this. You know, historically, there's a lot of support for a really big business and some, you know, niche techie businesses. But this is one that's really designed for every Everybody. And you're right, COVID as the sort of lockdown uh, situation that we had a few years ago is over, but we're still seeing a lot of businesses struggle because of what, work from home, you know, so there aren't, you know, downtowns across the country are struggling. Um, and, you know, you asked earlier about tech or non-tech. These days, every business is a tech business. You know, if you're just, you know, selling cookies, you better be online, you better do, be doing e-commerce, et cetera. Uh, it's, not, it's not your grandma's bakery anymore. Yeah, definitely not. You definitely need that website for sure. Now, let's go back just to the you know, pandemic lockdown period. And it's taken businesses a while to obviously recover. Would you say most small businesses that survived that period are on a good footing to recovery or are they still struggling? Well, that's a broad, that's a broad question. Uh, it's, it's certainly a mixed bag out there. It kind of depends on who you are. You know, a lot of our clients, and I'll tell you, it's why you should go to techtowndetroit.org and come see us. We created a program called 313 Strong during Tech Town, and every single business that came to us in that sort of first half of 2020 survived the pandemic. Except for one, where it was a married couple and they got a divorce. I'm not Ooh. saying that was us or yeah, COVID. Yeah, but, but something else. But something else. <laughs> but, but, you know, getting that kind of support, is is super uh important for your chances of success yeah and i also hear staying married is sick, uh, super important for a small business we can't well, help huh? with that part yeah, that's where you can't help with that now yeah. i know you have an event coming up on december 6. it's not very special of an event i mean you have these all the time <laughs> i don't want to downplay it but tell us what that is exactly and you know what people can do to get involved absolutely so uh, we run an accelerator program it's called start studio discovery and this is literally if chris you came in and said i have an idea for a new mobile app or a medical device or something like that. The first set of the process that we put you through is called customer discovery. Go out and find out, do people want this? Is it really solving a problem? And so we've got a group of entrepreneurs, probably about 15 to 20 of them, that have been going through that process for the last two to three months. And on uh, you know December 6th, they're gonna come and do what we call their showcase, where they're gonna tell you the results. You know, this is my idea, this is the problem it's solving. And I went out and talked to 100 customers, and they told me it was a good idea, 
or it wasn't a good idea or somewhere in between? What I meant when I said it wasn't that special an event, I mean they do have them throughout the year. It's not a one-time only. It's a very special event and for Tech all of, our, all of our events are special. That's right. All of our entrepreneurs are special. Don't and, ask me who's my favorite entrepreneur. Okay? Oh, yeah. That's like I, choosing between your children, right? Everyone always asks me that, and that's always my response. Which one's your favorite kid? Yeah. yeah. All right. Some of us have those, but, you know. Yeah. Hey, you don't, you don't want to divulge that. Thanks a lot for coming in this morning. Really hey, appreciate it. thanks for it. having me.